Tonight, a blizzard of lawsuits and a legal storm losing steam as President Trump pushes a final attempt to overturn election results in key battleground states like Wisconsin. Let's see whether or not somebody has the courage, whether it's a legislator or legislatures. Today, the president's attorneys arguing virtually in federal court in Milwaukee, asking a judge to essentially hand over the state's 10 electoral votes to the Republican-controlled legislature. The Trump team arguing election officials created new and illegal rules for hundreds of thousands of absentee ballots, targeting everything from ballot drop boxes to voters who declared themselves indefinitely confined, but quickly firing back tonight state election officials and the governor's attorneys, calling for the case to be immediately dismissed, saying what the president is seeking is profoundly anti-democratic and unconstitutional. The federal judge hearing the case is Brett Ludwig, appointed by President Trump and confirmed in September. Ludwig acknowledging today if he ruled in favor of the president, this would be a most remarkable proceeding, he said, and probably the most remarkable ruling in the history of this court or the federal judiciary. Matt, has the judge indicated how fast he'll rule? He said quickly, Patrick, within the last hour or so, he said he hoped to have this ruling and order out within the next day or two, knowing it will likely be appeal time, though, of the essence tonight. Wisconsin's 10 Democratic electors will meet at the state capitol to vote on Monday. All right, Matt, thank you. And here's a look at what's to come. A hearing on the president's state election lawsuit will happen tomorrow. It was supposed to happen today, but the judge delayed it by one day to see how the federal lawsuit will play out.